Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and it is a very, very special night because it is Disney Channel night, which is one of the after dark ticketed events that Disneyland puts on. And I wanna take in as much of this event as I possibly can. So I wanna see some of the entertainment. I wanna meet a character too, maybe do a photo op or look at merchandise or <gasps> the food. I forgot about the food, but that's a very important part. So I definitely wanna try some tasty food, but it's gonna be a fun night. So come along with me, let's hang out and Let's do Disney Channel night. <laughs> so this event is sold out and I cannot wait. I have a feeling that it's not gonna be immensely crowded though. At least I'm crossing my fingers. I really am. I will report on to you how crowded it is, but I wanna go inside and check in inside. You can also check in at the front gate. And obviously I got here a little bit early, but they're already checking people in at the front gate early. So I've noticed that recently about the After Dark events. They've been checking people in earlier and earlier. So if you do get here before check-in starts at six, you kind of have a good chance of you getting in a little bit early. Oh, I hear the monorail coming by. I always have to stop for the monorail and for bubbles. But anyway, like I said, I'm gonna check in inside. So I'm gonna scan into the park and then I will show you where to check in if you're coming inside. I always end up sounding like a broken record because I always explain the check-in process, but I think it's important in case you've never been or in case you are preparing for an After Dark event in the future. But event check-in, if you already have a park reservation, is going to be in Tomorrowland over at Starcade. And you can just follow the signs, but here we go, let's do this. Thank you. I just checked in and it was pretty quick. They actually started checking at like five something, but um, the lines are so long inside Starcade because there's a photo op in here. So I just took the photo. Will it look cool afterwards? I don't know. I will see in a little bit because it's a magic shot. Let me show you some of the merchandise really quick. So there's a t-shirt. It is tie-dyed. It is navy blue and it is $35 and it says 2024 Disney Channel Night. I kind of like the yellow and the blue together. Let me show you the crew neck. Okay, this is, ooh, it's very soft, but it feels like it would get very pilly, but it is all black and I love the puffy print. It's kind of like spirit jersey material. And then it says 2024 Disney Channel Night. I like the logo. And then, ooh, I love that on the back, the After Dark logo. Okay, let me see if there's a price. I'm gonna guess that this is, $49.99. Let's see if my Price is Right skills are on. <gasps> wow, do I win a prize? I don't think so. They are bringing back the pins for the After Dark events. They haven't had them in a really, really long time. They also have a magnet and then they have a magnet photo frame. Oh, and then they have the little acrylic ornament that they usually have for these events. The event has not quite started, but starting an hour before the event, you can start getting the food and I already have two items. So I swooped around to Jolly Holiday and to the Mint Julep Bar to get two of the items that I was the most excited about. So over at the Mint Julep Bar, these are the Bouncing Berry Beignets and it's two Mickey shaped beignets dusted with blueberry sugar and a berry icing drizzle. And they really smell good. They kind of smell like tutti frutti like, like, I don't know, delicious. Although. I definitely would have liked it if, well, okay, I get it. The gummy bears are on theme, right? But like, I don't really want a gummy bear with my beignet. I would have maybe liked it if it was like Lucky Charms, like, you know, the marshmallow part, not the boring cereal part. Nobody likes that. Okay, should I try to get, no, I won't. <laughs> I was about to eat the gummy bear with the, you know, beignet and I was like, no, 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 don't do that. But anyway, let's go in. <laughs> These are so much fun and they kind of have a, gosh, I can't, I can't even put my finger on it. Is it like fruit punch or is it kind of like tutti frutti bubble gum? Okay, it's like tutti frutti bubble gum. That's totally the vibe going on here. And the drizzle gives it a nice little, you know, bit of moisture, wetness. It gives it some wetness. <laughs> but then it's just all around a fun kind of gimmicky, but it's a themed food actually. It's not just gimmicky food, it's themed food. And I love themed food. I also love anything that's Mickey shaped. So that's kind of nice. Ooh, actually that leads me into the next item, which is also Mickey shaped. So this is from Jolly Holiday and this is the cookies and cream whoopie pie. And it's a chocolate whoopie pie shell and it's filled with white chocolate mousse and chocolate cream cookie pieces. And it's finished with a drizzle of white chocolate with decorative sprinkles and decorative ears and like I said, I love anything Mickey shaped. It's sort of gimmicky, but I'm into it. And I 
tried to turn it on its side. Look at those cookie pieces. There are so many and they're like really good and really chunky. So let's go ahead and take a bite. I also love sprinkles. I feel like they add something, you know? Most people are like, no, they're boring, but listen, I think they're fun. They give a good crunch, a little bit more sugar and they're festive. So I am all about being on team sprinkle. I love sprinkles. <laughs> okay, let's take a bite right here. This one is awesome. This one is really good. And the first thing that I was thinking of when I bit into it is that the mousse in the middle, it's supposed to be like white chocolate mousse, I believe. It kind of has like a canned frosting taste, which listen, I have like real lowbrow taste sometimes. And I, I know that canned frosting is not good, but I also, I'm not ashamed to say that I think it also tastes kind of good sometimes, but this definitely gives that vibe. And then the cookie pieces are so big and chunky and they definitely give a good crunch. The only thing, and I love the sprinkles by the way, just have to say, here they really add something. I enjoy it. Also the Mickey shape really adds something. But the only thing that I don't care for with any whoopie pie, I feel like whoopie pie is sometimes problematic. It's because it does this, you know? Not my preference to have, you know, wet gooey hands, but I love this. I would actually love to get one of these and bring it home, but listen, we have a lot of things to try and get tonight, and no time to stop and get more treats, uh, the duplicates, I mean. <laughs> it's Darkwing Duck! Oh my goodness! You can come a little bit closer. But Darkwing, you look so good! You, you look fantastic. Will you do a spin? Ah! Got me! That was a little bit aggressive, but... That's okay, you look really good. You're actually a little bit shorter than I thought. Just a little bit, it's okay. Crime doesn't need to be fought with height. It's fought with character. Amen. I love it. Anyway, okay, I'll give you a hug and then we'll get a photo. I am kind of embarrassed because I don't remember if I if I tried to sing to Darkwing or not just now, but I in my head I was like, I'm gonna do it, and then I did not. But I was gonna sing the Darkwing Duck part of the, you know, let's get dangerous part. But yay, that was very fun. They do switch out between him and, wait, was uh, I can't remember the other guy's name right now. Uh, anyway, they switch out every 30 minutes. So maybe I'll wait for the next guy, even though I have to remember what his name is. <laughs> Launchpad, that's his name. Launchpad McQuack. Oh no, okay. That, I got the first name right. Now I don't know if I got the second name right, but either way, he is back there right now. And to be honest, in real life, he looks kind of buff for a cartoon duck. My friend also said that Darkwing is cute. And I was like, did you, did you just say that in a way where it was like, he's hot or cute? I don't know. Anyway, yay. Okay, let's keep going. I, I actually don't know what else I want to do. Ooh, but Mickey and Minnie are in the Wildcats outfits and I think I want to see them really bad. <laughs> I'm speed walking right now because the parade is happening and I, oh no, there's so many people, I don't know if we'll be able to see. <laughs> Never mind, it is way, way, way too crowded to be able to make the parade, but it does make special stops along the parade route, so I definitely want to get in line. Well, like, save a spot right before because there's a lot of people but look i came down to town square since i was already over here and i have found goofy and max and they are in very cute outfits goofy has the most fun little sweater set he's looking kind of nerdy but he's goofy so that's kind of the point he is supposed to be a nerdy goof since i'm down in town square and i never come this way whenever there's an after dark event i like never circle my way back to town square and then i always get mad like when on sweethearts night i realized that daisy and donald and mickey and minnie were in special outfits it was a travesty but yes now that i am here i was like okay i may as well just check it out so i saw goofy and max and now i saw this photo op but now it is time to go somewhere else because i don't think there's a lot more in town square Oh, never mind. Okay, there is one other photo op here in Town Square. This one is the Disney Channel logo and it lights up and it shimmers and glows. It sparkles. It looks awesome, don't you think? Especially with the castle and with the Main Street projections. I'll have to show you those, by the way, when there isn't like a crowd waiting for the parade because it's uh, kind of awkward if I just walk into the middle of it, but it looks amazing. All of Main Street, all of the castle, everything. It looks amazing. You wanna see something really cool? Well, look at this. The Columbia is lit up all spookily, kind of like the Descendants, right? But do you also wanna see something not as cool? Well, 
Look at this. This is the official Descendants backdrop. What is going on? This is very, very sad. No, there is nothing else going on. Nothing else to be seen. So maybe let's look away from that and look back at the Columbia. Wow, look at it. It honestly looks awesome. Oh my God, it's moving. It's moving right now. And look, there's a special rag on it because it is the Descendants Columbia. <laughs> so, you know, Descendants rags, same thing. But yay, look at it. Is stuff gonna happen right now? I, I don't know. I was getting ready to watch the show that was supposed to be on Rivers of America and I guess I didn't read it close enough because it's on the, well, it started off on the bridge over by Pirates, so uh, it's very far away, but look, it's moving now. Very, very cool. <laughs> well, never mind. I am the worst tour guide ever because they are dancing, but they're dancing in front of the Columbia, not on the Columbia, not in the Rivers of America thing. I thought they would maybe come out on the barge or something, but hey, they are being creative. And like I said, I'm the worst tour guide ever. But yeah, they were dancing up there and they were like, does everybody want to dance with us? And I was like, no, absolutely not. Not right now. I, I must keep walking. I just saw Kim and Ron Stoppable and they are unfortunately doing, well, not unfortunately, but they're doing the meet and greet as like a, like a, you know, just roaming thing. So it's kind of like at Avengers Campus where they're like, no lines. Oh, oh, look. Before I was interrupted by the cool, cool characters, I was saying that, Kim, I can't stop using this to like point at things and use it to exclaim, but that Ron Stoppable and Kim Possible are just roaming around and I, it's like Avengers Campus where they're like, no lines, please just follow, follow along. And then you follow them like a herd and it feels so awkward. <laughs> but maybe we'll find them. Maybe we'll somehow meander our way close to them. We are here on a scavenger hunt and you're all invited. Woo! If anyone can find any good water around here, we heard there might be a backside of water in the area. Is there a backside of water around here? Put your hands out. If anyone can help us find these items, it has that thing on. Who's ready to find some elephants? Can I get a booyah? booyah! Come on, everybody. Let's go find those elephants. Hello. Oh look, it's the other experiments. I'm on the sidelines. I'm not getting in line for this because we have a parade to get to and uh, I also have a very important thing to do next. But look at them. Ooh, wait, look who just arrived! Experiment 626 and Lilo. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, you can meet all four of them? Oh, I think they're gonna actually swap them out. This is adorable. Look at them all. And now for the most exciting part of the night. Yes, I just used that wand for emphasis. I can't stop. Why do they have to give this to me? I have a feeling by like 11, 12, 1, something, everyone's are gonna start to fade, you know? But yay, I am, this is the most exciting part of the entire night. We are about to get a specialty cream cheese pretzel. It is the best thing to ever happen tonight, maybe, kind of. Maybe, let's hope not. Nope, maybe we do, I don't know. I'm really sorry, I know it is so loud, but we have to get to the best thing about today, which is a pretzel, a cream cheese pretzel. Wow, there's a lot of sounds coming from all directions right now. But okay, yes, this is from the pretzel cart in Tomorrowland, and this is the raspberry and coconut pretzel. It's a cream cheese pretzel dipped in raspberry compote topped with pound cake crumbles and shredded coconut. And like I said, it is really, really loud right now. I, gosh, I hope it's not infuriating on your end. Uh, but anyway, let's try it. Oh my gosh, it is, uh, it's really gooey. Oh wow, it's really gooey. Oh my God, I love that. Oh wow, I love, love that. First off, it's a cream cheese pretzel, which is my favorite thing. It is warm, it is toasty. It is soft and doughy and filled with 
cream cheese, which I love, but my hands are covered in that raspberry sauce, which is incredible. It is so, so tasty. It is hyper sweet, okay? Like super sickly sweet, but I love it that way. And at first I was like, wait, there's too much coconut, but no, you can barely even taste it because there's so much of that sweet, sweet raspberry sauce. But anyway, I am going to, uh, move now because it is so loud so uh let's go somewhere less loud Whoa, look at this. This is the most beautiful nighttime castle that I have seen in a really long time. The colors are stunning. Whoa, they just, all the gradations, everything looks gorgeous. Oh my goodness, and in jewel tones and that little Disney Channel logo. I don't think that I showed you the beautiful lights of Main Street. Look at these projections. And then I noticed that they kind of like play off the arc of the, look, Oh, no, never mind. They're not going to do it. Crystal, oh, look. See, Crystal Arcade, perfectly mirrored by the Disney logo. But wow, it looks amazing. I'm just saying right now that like, I don't know. There's something about this color palette. It is spectacular. It is out of this world. And it is honestly prettier than any After Dark event ever. Seriously, good job, Disney. But like, why did the Matterhorn not get a special projection show? Oh, I stand corrected. The Matterhorn does get its own very special light show. And Matterhorn, you are looking really great, especially with that waterfall. I can even hear the Matterhorn sounds, although the music is much louder, but it's festive. And yay, I'm glad the Matterhorn was not neglected after all. I just missed Mickey and Minnie. They're meeting in green over at the Fantasyland Theater and they have the cutest backdrop. I mean, I couldn't even show you really because there's so much security and so many people like guarding it being like, no, 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 back away. It is closed and you cannot get in line. But I did catch Mickey and Minnie coming out to do the meet and greet. So I got like a small, tiny, tiny, tiny glimpse of them. And man, they're so cute tonight. How cute is this? This was my very last wish. I wanted to see Mickey and Minnie. Well, that didn't really happen, but I wanted to see Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and look at this, Scrooge McDuck. Oh my goodness, wait, look at them. So cute. I want them to wiggle their butt tails. Oh, there's a spin. That is the next best thing. Oh, Scrooge, you are so fun. I was gonna say cute, but I don't know if he's cute. He is miserly and mean sometimes but also charming in his old duck ways. I love them. Oh my gosh, wait, and this is so fun. So there's not really a line. You just walk up and they will say hello to you. Look at them. How adorable and fun. And I love the backdrop. I actually love the setup they have going on here. They kind of turn the water down low so that it's not splashing everywhere, although it is still kind of splashing. 
everywhere, but look at them! Look at the duck butts. Just one last thing to do today, and it's that I had to pick up my mobile order from Cafe Daisy after I saw all of the ducks, all of my favorite ducks. Well, no, Donald wasn't there, so not all my favorite ducks were there. But I have three food items from Cafe Daisy, and I am getting sleepy. So actually, this might help that. Oh, there's a piece of straw stuck to this. But okay, let me tell you what I got, and I'm gonna do a speed run because, like I said, I'm getting sleepy. But uh, first off, this is a cold brew. This is the S'mores Cold Brew, and it's Joffrey's Coffee Cold Brew French Roast with toasted marshmallow syrup and whipped topping. I love, like, marshmallow. Okay, if you ever watch The Simpsons, you know the the Treehouse of Horror where it's Homer and he's like uh, the shining, the shining, and he's like urge to kill, getting stronger, stronger. Okay, well, urge to sleep is getting stronger, stronger, but let me taste this. Oh, I think, okay, the event ends in 15 hey, minutes. Everybody. So. Our amazing evening together is coming to an end in 15 minutes. Oh no! As you make your way out, be sure to say goodnight to Mickey and his friends in Town Square. They're so glad you made it. See you later! Okay, we have to run down there to do that, but um... This only tastes like cold brew to me. Where's the sweetness that I crave, the sugar rush that I need? I don't know. Ooh, there it is. Okay. Oh, mmm. That's like almost like liqueur type of sweet like it has like a really heaviness like a real like heady type of heaviness but you know what right now i will accept it i will enjoy that but i do want to eat some food so let me show you two things i got a side of nachos actually it's not a side it's a big oblong dish of nachos so these are the campfire nachos and they have cheese sauce chili con carne tomato onion relish and green onion cilantro sauce okay I am all about the delicious sauces, so let me get, ooh, yes. Okay, this one has a little bit of everything. Let me also add a jalapeno. Oh, heck yeah, I am really into those. Wow, there's a good amount of spice from the jalapeno, but then that sauce is delicious. It has like a nice bright green flavor to it. So good, okay. We are gonna move on. We're doing a speed run, like I said. Next one, also oblong little dish. This is, oh wait, let me pull it up. So these are the Campfire Donuts Skewers. So it's a house-made mini donut with graham cracker sugar, toasted marshmallows, and chocolate sauce. Oh, I didn't realize that they put graham cracker crumbs. The, uh, -ba 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 -ba? hello? The uh, urge to sleep getting stronger, stronger. Okay, I'm gonna just eat it like this. Pretty good. The only thing that I would say is that I wish they didn't use Hershey syrup. I think that is always a, just a not good thing, you know? Just anytime that they use chocolate sauce, please don't use Hershey syrup. Wait, these are great. But my favorite are those nachos. Those are awesome. One last thing actually, look, I got the Magic Key giveaway and for every After Dark event this year, they're going to be giving away a patch and I normally do not collect things. I usually do not care, but I, I once they said that it was all gonna be a bunch of patches, I was like, okay, fine. I need them all. I got the Sweethearts Night one and I'm getting this one and I cannot wait for the Star Wars Night one. Yes, yeah, so anyway, what a nice way to end the night. Oh, also I'm right by Goofy. I don't know why I'm adding this. I think I'm just tired. Wow, you can tell it's definitely the end of the night because you can hear them cleaning over at DCA. Like, it sounds like a leaf blower, but like industrial sized. But yes, that is a wrap for tonight, and I had the best time. Honestly, sometimes these After Dark events are like a toss up. Like, sometimes they're kind of disorganized or sometimes they're disappointing, but this one was actually fabulous. I thought Disney did a great job. The entertainment was amazing. That pep rally was a standout. Like, everyone, all the performers were giving it their all, and it was so good. And then I love that I got to start the night off with Darkwing Duck. He was really fun. And I loved Huey, Dewey, and Louie and Scrooge over at Toontown. Actually, the food at Toontown was superb as well. It was really spectacular. And the food that I got in the very beginning was good too. And the, the cream cheese pretzel. It is always a good day when you get a cream cheese pretzel. And what else? The, I mean, the entertainment all around was great. The, the photo ops were not very good. And I've heard from many people that were very disappointed in the photo ops, but like, you can't win them all. You know what I mean? 
But anyway, I think that's gonna do it for tonight. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. I had so much fun. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> okay, see ya. <laughs>